You guys, I feel so silly because I had no idea that teaching textbooks did this. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mandy the Handmade Homeschooler and today I have some really cool information for you about math if you are looking for a math curriculum or if you want to learn more about the math curriculum that I use because I learned some new things that I'm going to share with you about teaching textbooks. Okay, so if it's your first time here, I want to welcome you to my channel. Make sure that you hit the like and the subscribe button and down below in the description box, I have all the information that you need for teaching textbooks. And I have links to our free Facebook group for homeschooling parents. And I have a link to my free IEW curriculum page where you can download all kinds of free language arts curriculum if you want to try that out. So I partner with the curriculum company Teaching Textbooks, which is a math curriculum for grades 3 through 12. And I have been using Teaching Textbooks long before I partnered with them, but after I started making videos, they reached out to me and asked if they could give me curriculum in exchange for these cool videos to bring to you. And of course I said yes. So thank you to Teaching Textbooks and they gave me so much new information about things that I did not know about that were inside of Teaching Textbooks that I'm gonna tell you because I feel kind of silly for not knowing this stuff. So Teaching Textbooks is an online streaming math curriculum, but one of my favorite features about Teaching Textbooks is it's all interactive. So the lessons are taught via computer or app. You can use, you know, a laptop, a desktop computer. My kids use a laptop or there's an app that you can use. And the lessons are taught within that app or on your computer. So there is no need for you to buy any unnecessary books, which makes it great for people like me who have smaller homeschooling spaces, or maybe you who may not have a homeschooling space at all and you're using your kitchen table. So I have done both and I know the struggle. So one less book is always a good thing. So all of the lessons are taught for you and they're interactive. So they're learning the lesson, they're going through the lesson and then they'll stop in the middle of, of the lesson after they start teaching a new concept or if they're going back over a lesson, maybe that they something that they learned in the last lesson that they did prior to the one that they are doing now and they will present a question, some kind of math question, and to check the comprehension of the child, they will ask that question and your child will, you know, work out the problem and put in the answer. Those problems that they do inside of the lesson are not counted towards their daily grade. Those are just practice questions to just check and see their comprehension level. So the actual lectures are interactive, so they're getting a more comprehensive learning experience all around with the lessons themselves. One of my 10th graders favorite things about teaching textbooks is that they relearn and keep fresh the prior concepts that they learned. And before we had teaching textbooks years ago, that was one of the things that we always struggled with was all of the curriculum that we learned before or when he was in public school, he was public schooled up till he was in third grade. He would have a problem retaining a lot of the information because and you know public schools really modeled like this too they'll learn a concept for you know that entire year they'll learn you know all the concepts they need to learn but then when they go to the next level or the next grade they never go back over that material and they kind of brain dump it and then when they come to a problem that they have to do that requires information that they learned from that previous level or year it gets really sticky. <laughs> so I always struggled, especially with my oldest, with this problem. And I know I struggled as, as someone who was public schooled in that same exact area. Teaching textbooks always goes back over concepts regularly. So even though they might be learning a new concept, you can rest assured that they will be going back over what they're learning. So for example, my 10th grader just started geometry and he is in week two right now of geometry, but he's still going back over algebra one. He hasn't even started geometry yet. He's going back over last year's algebra one. So this is a really great thing if you're going through teaching textbooks, you know, consecutively, 
you're going to go back over everything that they learned that previous year. So if you go through that summer period where you're like, oh no, I hope they didn't just brain dump everything that they learned last year during summer, rest assured teaching textbooks is going to go back over that for the first week or two. So another thing that's really cool about teaching textbooks is they give the kids a second chance. And you'll see this when your kids are going through their math problems, they will, if they get one wrong every now and then, a box will pop up and they will get a second chance. So instead of it being marked wrong automatically, teaching textbooks will let your child know, hey, that problem isn't right. Why don't you try it again before marking that problem wrong? And then that way they have a, another chance to get the problem right before the actual grade is taken down and marked. So having a child in high school, this was something that just made me so happy. I had no idea that this was built into teaching textbooks. And now that I know, I have so much more <laughs> confidence <laughs> in um, my SAT and ACT prep for my, for my son here. So teaching textbooks has, a, has built in SAT and ACT prep. What do I mean by that? I mean, they have taken questions from the SAT and the ACT and they have modeled their questions for your high schooler inside of their regular daily lessons. So when they get to the SAT and the ACTs or when they're taking their practice tests, they're not gonna see things that are totally brand new to them. They are gonna be seeing things that they're gonna see on the SAT and the ACT. For me, this was really important as a parent. As a public school kid, I took my SATs five times because I kept trying to raise my math scores on the SATs. I'm not good at math. Math is just not my strong point at all. I'm not confident at all when it comes to math. And I was trying to get a scholarship. And the, we're talking, you know, 20 years ago, your SAT scores were really, really important to getting the scholarship that I needed. And to get that, I had to keep raising my score. And it was really hard for me because I was trying to do stuff that I had never done before. And I was trying to learn these concepts on my own through these SAT prep books. Well, teaching textbook has my back and I love this. So this makes me so much more confident. And I think that my son is gonna be much more confident than I was when I was his age, going into that, that prep zone for those standardized tests. So my kids always love the buddies and the wallpapers. The buddies are like these little avatars that you'll find in the little corner of the screen. And these avatars, these buddies, give positive reinforcement when your child gets a problem right. And that's really important, especially for young kids. Now the buddies are from grades three through seven. And then they also have wallpapers. So I have older kids, they love the wallpapers. I think every day they are changing out the wallpaper, which is fine. You know, they'll spend five minutes and they'll customize their, their teaching textbook screen for the day and then they'll jump into their stuff. But I think it's kind of cool that they, they love to mess with it. Even though they're boys, they still think that it's really cool. So I, even if you have older kids, they are still gonna think that stuff is pretty neat. Free tutoring. So many people don't know this. And that's why I wanted to make sure that I went back over this because I've, I've gone over this before, but a lot of people still don't, don't realize this. If you purchase teaching textbooks for your child and you come to a problem that your child just can't get right and you're not sure how to do it, write down the lesson, write down the number of the, pro the, number of the problem, and then call teaching textbooks and they will get back with you and they will go over the problem with you and your child step by step and explain how to do it. I don't know of any other math company that does anything like that. I think that they are really, really dedicated to your child's success in math. And I think that you really can't ask for much more from a company like this. And yes, that tutoring is free. Again, the tutoring is free. You just have to call them. Now, again, I've gone over this point too, but it's worth mentioning again, the customizable settings, use those to your advantage. You can do everything from turning sounds on and off to hints on and off. You can have hints come up for your child, especially if you have a kid who is like me and who struggles in math, the hints might be something that you wanna have, make sure that that's on. You can even control the number of lessons and the order of lessons too. There's all kinds of things that you can do within it to customize it for your child. So probably one of my favorites is the automated grading. 
you do not have to grade anything with teaching textbooks everything is automatically graded for you and they will have a class average and my kids because they are always interested in what their grade is all the time they go into their grade book every single day to check and see what their grade point their grade average is and that's okay i'm totally fine with them doing that you know they feel like they're being responsible by doing that so I get, I, I get an update daily and they'll tell me, mom, I have such and such grade in math today. You know, <laughs> it's just one of those things like, okay. <laughs> so, you know, they pay really close attention to those types of things. And you also, of course, have access through this through your own grade book that you get and you'll get a separate login. So you can grade, you can go into the grade book and check everything. Now within that grade book, you have so many different things that you can do as a parent you can go in there and you can delete entire lessons you can delete specific problems my kids have this thing especially my oldest i think that he he goes too fast sometimes and i can see on his paper that he worked out the problem and the problem was correct but when he goes to actually input in on the laptop the the actual numbers or the solution for the problem Sometimes he doesn't look before hitting the enter button and he put in, you know, the decimals in the wrong place or he accidentally hit one instead of zero, you know, his finger slipped and then he gets the problem wrong. So if you have a child like mine who does that sometimes, you can go in and delete that problem and they can redo it and put in the right answer and then they can have it right to pull their grade up or let's say they did really poorly on a test and you want them to try again, you can delete that entire grade and have them take the test again. So there are ways to do almost anything you want. They have put you in the driver's seat when it comes to their math grade. There are free trials. So if you're interested in doing teaching textbooks and you're not sure if this is gonna be the math program that's gonna work for your child, you can go there and use a free trial to see how your child likes it. I am all for free trials. I think free trials, especially for, you know, bigger subjects like math or language arts are really important because you need to know if your child really jives with it before investing in it. So go to teaching textbooks and you can get a free trial for your child and figure out what level they need to be on. There's also live customer support. So if you're not sure what level your child needs to be on, you can always talk to customer support and they can help you. Also, if you have a large family, they have a large family discount. So I don't know if you knew that. I did not know that. So if you have a lot of, ch a lot of children, check into their large family discount. That'll help you out in the end and all those little things add up to be big things in the end. All right, that is all I have for this video. Let me know, what do you guys use for math? What are you using? I know there's a couple different ones that I hear a lot of. Teaching textbooks has always been the one that we have used. The only one that we have used prior to teaching textbooks was Matthew C up to third grade. And as soon as the kids were in third grade, we switched both of them over to teaching textbooks and we have never looked back. <laughs> so we have been using them since 2015, believe it or not. <laughs> feels like such a long time. <laughs> you know, it's, it's that's seven years now. Wow. I can't believe we've been homeschooling for that long. That's crazy. So we have loved teaching textbooks ever since we have started it and it always felt like a game kind of to my kids especially when they were young and i think that's what's really got them interested in it but when we saw how well they did with it and that they liked it and they started to like math we knew we could never change so we have just always stayed with them and i can't see us ever diverting off that path so i would love to know what you guys use though tell me down below in the comments all right, I will see you guys in the next video. And again, thank you to Teaching Textbooks. We so appreciate you sending us a enrollment for both of our kids. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and happy homeschooling.